Alright, this video is going to show you how to create a calendar using Microsoft Word 2010. It will be tied to uh, the handout that you will, can also find on the, on the school website uh, entitled 8th uh, grade calendar assignment. To get started on this project, the first thing you need to do is to open up Microsoft Word 2010. Once you have it open, the first thing you do is you click on the insert tab and in the insert tab then you're going to click on table. You need to insert a table that has seven columns going across and six rows going down. Once you have that table inserted it should look something like this. The next step would be for you to adjust the size of your calendar. As you can see here on the instructions, you're going to grab the bottom border of your uh, entire <coughs> uh, table. From there, you will then stretch it down so that it uh, is the size that you need for your project. Then the next step is to distribute the rows evenly. In order to do that, there is a button that you can use that is located in the layout ta uh, tab. Okay, and those will be located um, say uh, as I click on the layout tab, they are located here and here. Once you click on the distribute rows evenly, your table starts to come together a little bit more like it should. Now, you might want to move your table down towards the bottom. Um, but before we do that, we're going to put in the, the days of the week. So, in order to do that, we will... Go back to our document here and type in the days of the week, starting with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on. Now at the same time, while we still have the days of the week cells highlighted, we're going to center them. So back on the Home tab, you click the Center button, and that will make your days of the week in the middle of each of those cells. Now you can also adjust the height of those cells. So we want to do that so that it only fits the days of those particular weeks. So we grab that border between um, the first row, slide it up to the size that you need. The next step is that we need to put the days of the um, months that you have. What are the dates for your month? <clears throat> In my case I'm going to do December 2014. So that particular month starts on a Wednesday and I start with number one there and go across and continue to fill in all of the other days. And you can see it ends on a Friday the 31st. Now we 
also might want to get rid of some of the extra cells that you have. So in this case, I'm going to highlight the last cell, which is located after the 31st. So once I highlight it, you can delete it. So if I right click on it, hit delete, it will ask me if I want to delete the cell. Shift it left to right, and shift it left, and it gets rid of that cell for you. Now we want to move the uh, calendar down to some place so that we can have a picture above it. So we're going to grab the little plus sign here in the top left hand corner of our cells and we can grab it from there and we can slide it down to a lower position on your document. And adjust it to where you want to put it. And then you're ready for the next step. Next step would be to insert some word art for the title of your calendar. So on the insert tab, you're going to click on the word art button. And you can choose whichever style suits your needs. Again, you can grab this box. When you see the little plus sign, you can grab it and move it to where you need it. <coughs> you can highlight that part and type in what you want. In this case, I'm going to put January 2014. And the next step would be to insert uh, some pictures, or a picture for the background. Okay, so I'm going to go insert clip art. Once this tab box opens up, you can type in what you uh, want to search for. In this case, I'm going to do a winter scene. Again, you want to make sure that you include office.com. Uh, this will give you more choices. And pick one that I think kind of goes with your month. You can just run it out so that it fits a little bit better. But you also want to make sure that you wrap the text. If you don't, it will kind of getting in the way of certain items on your uh, project, namely your ta table. So if you wrap the text and put it behind the text, it will be able to slide it wherever you want without it interfering with any of the other objects on the uh, project. From here, you can kind of move around your month. You can see January here does not stand out very well. So maybe you want to change the style of that particular word art. Maybe change the color to make it stand out a little bit more. So in this case, I'm going to go through and we'll uh, slide this over so that you can see the, cho the choices here. And as I go through them, you can see it will change the uh, way January looks. And you find one that might look a little bit nicer or stand out a little bit more. And I think I end up with a red one here. Alright, so now calendar starting to shape up. Well, you also might want to put some uh, clip art into the days of the month. So before we do anything more, we're going to insert another clip art, and we also need to pick holidays. So we're going to pick um, Martin Luther King Day since that is in January. And I'll 
type in Martin Luther King uh, and you can find different images and I'm going to put one for his day and I want to put that on my calendar. Now notice that when I place it on the calendar it changes the cell sizes so in order for me to fix that you can reduce the size of it and once it gets back uh, you know, to a size that's more suitable your cells will go back to the, the size that they were. You also want to change again with wrap text uh, in front of text so that way it uh, doesn't uh, <coughs> move anything else around or hide anything else that you have there. Okay. Now the next step is I want to shade some cells. You need to either sh shade the cells of your holidays in this case, I'm going to shade the cells of my weekends to show you how it's done. So basically, highlight this, the cells that you want shaded. Right click, and you will get uh, board, find borders and shading. And then find the color that you might want to change it to. In this case, I'm going to do a light blue. And I'll click OK. And it's noticed that it changes the colors of those cells that I had highlighted. Okay, again, we're going to do the same thing. Go to borders and shading. Find the one that I most recently used, so it's the same. And now I have those all the same color. Okay, <coughs> I'm getting to the end here. Um, last step. One of the next steps here is I'm going to need to <coughs> change the border. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll highlight the entire calendar. Right click again and go border and shading. And in this case, we'll click the tab that says borders and shading. We want to make all of the borders the same. In this case, I think I pick a uh, brighter color so they stand out. So I'll pick red. And you'll notice in the preview, that you see that the colors on the preview changed. Okay. <coughs> you can also from here change the width. You can also change the style. And sometimes when you change style, it goes back and to the color that you were using. So I'm gonna go back and switch the color again. Click OK, and now my border is all set. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is I want to put a border around the entire calendar. <coughs> in order to do that, we will go to the page layout, click on borders, and choose this, the style border for your page that you want. I choose a 3D one here. And make sure that in your preview you see the border and how it's going to look. So those tabs are not clicked. You need to make sure that you click on all of them. Okay, And then hit OK. And now I have a border around my entire project.